Hi, I'm here today to show you how to measure for a Glen Darcy McTogg. I've brought along a couple of different things that you might find in your home and they'll help you measure. First of all, I've got a cloth tape measure. This is the most ideal way of measuring a dog. I've got a bathrobe uh, strap and you could use a piece of string or anything else you might have, a belt. And this is if you have a metal tape measure because what can happen is the metal tape measure can put your dog off because of the noise. So it's much nicer to be able to just go like that and then compare against the metal tape measure. I've also got some cookies and some paper and a pen to write the measurements down. So first of all, I'm gonna make sure he's standing four square, nice and square. We're gonna start with the back measurement behind the tail to the back of the neck. He's about 12 and a half inches. We're going to do the chest measurement. The chest girth is just behind uh, the front legs. He's about 17 and a half. That would be a comfy fit. I don't want to pull it really tight because that, you know, you want it to be a loose sort of guide. And then the net final measurement we're going to do is his neck. Now Enzo's got a small neck. It's 11 and a half inches. What you need to remember when measuring for a neck for a McTog is we have a crossover neck uh, feature, a uh, crossover design. So you can go, if your dog has got a skinny neck, don't be put off if the neck measurement is bigger because there's fabric that will come up and it'll be just fine. So I've taken Enzo's measurements and compared them against the size chart and he's actually in between a zero and a one. So what I've actually gone for in this case is the chest measurement, which is closest to the one. And the reason for this is because I want it to be as comfortable fitting as it possibly can when it's on him. It'll make it easier to put on and off. Once your McTog arrives, I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips on how to fit it and put it on your dog for the first time. I always like to have a couple of cookies to go in my hand. And what I do is I put my arm through it like this. So I have the cookies, good boy. And as you can see, he's not at all bothered because he's eating his cookies. While he's chewing away, I'll get his first foot through, second foot through, and we're in. The neck can be easily adjusted to your own preference. You can have it back like so, or if you want a bit of extra coverage, you can put it up and tuck his ears in. A tip for quick removal is, yet again, I always like to have a bit of sausage handy, it never hurts. And what I like to do is I lift them up like this, I get my thumbs under here, and I just simply pull it off, just like that. Good boy!